Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Go, the Windows Store app. Today I'm going to add um, the scoring mechanism to uh, keep track of how many moves a player has made. So every time um, the player clicks on the puzzle, the counter is increased by one and it's displayed on the screen. And for that we're going to use the WinJS bindings. So let's get started. Um, first thing I would like to do is to add a game property. And this will be a WinJS binding. I'm using the as function. So we, this will um, create uh, the binding from the object I insert into the S function. In this case it's only containing the moves. Um, in the future this um, will contain the time the player is playing and uh, maybe more, uh, we'll see. Um, Next, we have to uh, apply the binding to something. So let's go to the HTML. We're going to create a div ID scoreboard. And this will be the area where the moves and the, the time eventually will be uh, displayed. And for now, I'm creating a span. Um, let's give this a class uh, yes let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it properly and use the data win bind all bindings will have this um, this attribute we're going to set the inner text of the span to the uh, moves property Let's copy this and go back to the HTML. At the end of the init function, I'm going to grab the scoreboard by its ID and to um, get binding mechanism started you have to uh, call the process all function which takes a DOM element in this case the scoreboard and the object it's will be using uh, for bindings which will be the game save that of course we have to update the moves on every click, so let's find the click function. There it is. Game.moves and increase it by one. Now because I uh, created a binding up front, um, the app uh, is keeping track of the, of the, the moves property of the object inside the binding, which contains the move property. And whenever it changes, um, the um, bound element will be updated. So let's see if it works. There in the bottom right corner, almost hidden from view, there's the counter. Everything's going correctly, yes. As you can see, it changes. And the location is pretty bad. So, let's stop the game. Head over to Blend. And... Um, I think the scoreboard's it's going to be 
best positions next beside the uh, game area, the puzzle area. Um, the grid has only got two columns, one to uh, get some space from the side and the rest is just one column, so we're going to split that. So somewhere around here. I've set the uh, width of the game board to 50% of the of its available space because I um, split the column in half. It's going to take the whole area now, and we have a new uh, column right here. So let's move the scoreboard over to the grid. and find the come on there we go the grid there you are uh, we're going to have the third column and the second row Let's add a value to this element so we can see what's going on. I believe it's too close to the uh, to the game board, so I have to uh, move it over a bit. And I would like to see what this number is, so I'm going to add another span. Same class for now. There. And let's give the scoreboard a padding. There's so many properties here. And there we go. Let's try plus 30 pixels well, I guess that looks nice for now let's save this one um, I don't like having the style in line so I'm going to move this over to the um, to the CSS file So I'm going to create a rule from the element. Uh, grab the inline style, cut the scoreboard and paste properties. And now it's in the CSS file. Let's save. Um, Yes, it's changed. As you can see, the HTML is right there. Let's run again and see if it works. Well, that's very easy. Now, now we're looking at this. I think the rotation has to go a little slower too let's do that right away got some time left so uh, this 250 has to change and I would like to curate a property well let's uh, show it to the game let's add a new one call it config rotation speed to 50 uh, 500 it changes so it goes there 
Now, here, config. That's rotation speeds. My IntelliSense is still a bit off. I'm not sure what's causing that. Copy this to there, 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 and there. So now it's configurable. I run it again. It should be slower now. I think it's still a bit too slow. So let's try 350. Let's refresh. There you go. That's better. So let's keep it at this. Um, next time I would like to add the, um, a timer so we can keep track of how long we are playing. So I hope to see you again next time. Thank you for watching. See ya.